Howdy, howdy, folks, and welcome back to Clapped Car Revival. Long time no see. Uh, I'm back. I'm a married man now, and I'm getting back to work. So I'm going to introduce you all this time to the G20. It's finally almost time to bring it home. Um, story is on it. I uh, probably a year or two ago, I think it's been down two years. Um, water uh, water pump and power steering pump went out on it. I didn't know anything about fixing cars. Brought it up here to work, and uh, fellow was supposed to help me work on it. And then he uh, he got a promotion and was never uh, never had time to help me work on it. So it sat for a while, fell to the back burner, and um, then you know after I did the work on the Galaxy, I was like, well, crap, that's I can do that to the G20. So I've been plugging away at it, but it's hard because it's here at work, which is over an hour away from me at home, and I get off pretty late. So I only really get to plug away on, on the days that I happen to get off early. But um, my original plan was to go ahead and change all the plugs and wires because I've got one that's chewed up real bad. I'll, I'll show you that. Um, but when I look at the plugs, they're so corroded. I'm, I'm afraid that I might end up breaking one. If I do that, then I'm going to end up being stuck here for a lot longer. So my plan is today is to just change the one plug, or just change the one wire, actually. One wire so I can get all of them firing. I'm going to let the oil heat up. I'm going to change the oil. I'm going to drive it around a little bit. Over the next week, I'll cruise it around a little bit, get a little more acclimated to driving again. And then I'm going to drive it home. Or I'll do the plugs there. That way, if I tear something up at home, I'm, I've got more access to the van. I've got more time to work on it, and it'll actually be more likely to get done. So I'm excited to dig into this thing, get it back on the road. I've had it for so long. It's I've got so many memories in it. I, I just I really need to see this thing living again. It's a bit tough to see because there's not a whole lot of access in here, but uh, you can see that in there is pretty corroded pretty bad. I have uh, went ahead and sprayed it with some PB Blaster. Don't know if it's going to help, but I don't really want to risk busting that off. As you can see, the access going through the back is terrible. Not a whole lot of room to work with, but I do appreciate the fact that I am indoors right now because it is starting to rain a little bit. So, you know, pros and cons we got going on here. So, as I think you can see, this wire here has seen some better days. It looks like it got chewed up or ate up or, you know, something happened to it before I even got it. And it was taped back together. And, um, you know, I'm surprised it was never an issue. But after having sat back here for two years, it looks like, you know, it's come unraveled. And it was arcing off of the chassis here before I noticed that that was going on. So course it cut it off and then I uh, figured we can let it chill till we we take care of that but I do know now that it's circulating not bleeding fluids no more so that's the big thing so we're gonna get the sparky boys back in order so we can drive this thing and then we'll we'll go through and do it right That just wasn't cool, man. Alright, so we're going to see if it wants to run a little better with a better connection and a better battery. So, let's see. folks I got everything out of the way we're gonna try to take this thing for a little ride 
Just enough to warm it up though. issue with the trans linkage because it just seems like it's not setting down. Guys, I might have killed my van and I'm super hurt about it. Um, I checked the trans fluid and it's uh, super low. It's burnt. Um, you know, I moved the van probably a hundred feet with the trans and oil cooler lines disconnected. I didn't think about it when I did it blue fluids everywhere so I guess um, when I did that a while back um, it evacuated all the goodies out of the transmission I tried putting some in it it's not shifted into gear it the trans linkage I can see it in there I mean, it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do um, it just feels like when I shift to any of the drive gears it doesn't want to set down into the gear um, so I, I don't know. I might have cooked the transmission, and I'm, I'm, I'm super hurt about it. But I'll get somebody else to look at this thing for me and give me a professional opinion, because I'd really, really, really like to have this van back, this van back in my stable. I miss this thing a lot. So, well, this wasn't as exciting as I hoped it was going to be, but this is what's new. See y'all next time.